Today I'm upgrading a Lenovo ThinkPad T530 with a 128GB M SATA solid state drive, 8GB of RAM, and a 250GB Seagate hard drive, um, and Windows 10. So I'll start with flipping it over. And of course, removing any power source like the battery. That's number one. And you'll just need a Phillips head screwdriver for this. Maybe a small plastic screwdriver. So you need to start by removing the um, RAM cover. Just two screws. Okay, while we're at it, we'll remove the hard drive cover too. So inside we have this little hard drive caddy. And looks like the screws are taped to it, so I'll just have to take a second to get those off. So while we have that open, uh, may as well just install the hard drive. Very easy. So you know the hard drive sitting in the caddy the right way if the screw uh, holes are lining up. And also, it doesn't hurt to take a look inside the uh, hard drive enclosure just to make sure that you're putting the you're lining up the SATA connections correctly. So you're not trying to shove it in. Alright, seems secure. So we're just testing this out for the moment and I'm gonna just leave it hanging in there and I'll put the cover back in just so it doesn't fall out. Uh, later on I'll go and make sure uh, I screw it into the caddy. So, to install the MSATA solid state drive, we need to get underneath the keyboard. And there's two screws, one right underneath the RAM cover and one right below it. It's very clearly uh, marked with a little mini picture of the keyboard, so it's hard to miss. Just two screws. That's also another where another RAM slot is too. Okay. And now all you have to do is just gently lift the keyboard up, push it up, and it doesn't hurt to have a little plastic uh, screwdriver or a guitar pick, anything that'll help you lift it up and not leave a mark. And the keyboard is just connected with a little ribbon cable here to the motherboard. Just pull that off gently, place it to the side, and we have, I'll just zoom, whoop, I'll zoom in here, get a better look. So that's what it looks like underneath the keyboard. And right here we have a little uh, plastic piece, plastic cover. And there's two wires that you'll have to just lift up. They're being held down by a piece of tape. Just put those off to the side. And I believe those are only used for, uh, those are used to plug into other cards. So this is where the MSATA port is and where you can install this. That's very easy. There should be a little screw already, already inside. So you just have to take that out.
It helps to have a little set of tweezers. Just for those little tiny screws that are hard to reach. Okay, and it's simple as, it's just like putting in a ram stick. You want to not drop it, but just line it up correctly. <clears throat> and you have to put it in at a slight angle. Once it feels snug enough, you just have to push it down and put that screw back in to hold it in place. Okay, and I think I'll put the tape back on right there. And we may as well put this plastic cover back on too. Okay, and there's another RAM slot right here. We'll put our first 4 gigabyte stick in here. And then we're ready to put the keyboard back on. Two screws back in. Okay, and the remaining four gigabyte stick of RAM. And may as well put the cover back on too. Okay, I think we're clocking in at under 10 minutes. It doesn't take long to do this. I'll stick the battery back in. And we're ready to boot on. I'm just gonna find a better camera angle here. Okay, here's our first boot. Perfect. Okay, we'll just enter BIOS just to check everything out. And yeah, we have our 8 gigabytes of RAM. And yeah, it looks like our Micron MSATA is in there and our uh, hard drive's in there too. It's perfect. So I'm just going to change the boot order quickly because we're going to be booting Windows 10 on a USB. I'll move the SSD up to option 1 and the USB um, oops, up to number 1 or number number 2. I want it booting from the MSATA SSD. So let's save and exit. And we'll just shut back down. Okay, now we'll stick our hard our uh, USB drive in. 
and we'll boot up again and select boot options. You do that by hitting the Think Vantage button right here, right underneath. We'll hit Enter to pause. Um, and F12 is a temporary startup device. And we'll select our USB. And we'll start the process of installing Windows 10. All right, and here we are at the Windows 10 introduction screen, install screen. Install now. We'll accept the license terms and click on custom install Windows only. And at this point, I'm going to zoom in to the screen and just show how I enter uh, disk partition from command prompt, just like in all of my videos. And that's how I like to wipe the hard drives and and uh, solid state drives that I install. So you want to hold down shift and hit F10. We'll type in disk part, D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T, enter. And we'll type in list, disk. So we have our different options here. We'll select disk zero. So you type in select disk, oops, disk zero. And that is our hard drive. We'll type clean. Okay, now we'll select the solid state drive. Select disk one and clean. Perfect. We'll type exit, exit again, and be sure to refresh. And we'll select the solid state drive and begin the install. All right, so Windows 10 has been installed and it's running quite well. It's nice and fast. And um, one thing I like to do, I'll eject the USB stick first of all. Don't need that anymore. Um, I usually like to check out Task Manager by holding down Control, Shift, Escape. And we'll just make sure that the RAM looks okay. Uh, nothing's going off the charts. Everything looks really good here. Cool, and I generally run updates, so you just need to hit the Windows key, type update, and we'll go ahead and run updates, and then I'll um, install Steam, we'll try out some games, uh, see how it works just streaming video, and then we'll call it a day. So before I install Steam and try out some games, I just wanted to demonstrate how I set up uh, second hard drives uh, for storage devices. So one thing that you can do is hit the Windows key, type in D-I-S-K, and well, you should be able to find an option in settings that says create and format hard disk partitions, and you want to click that. And disk management is what I wanted to type, and you can see here that it fully recognizes the hard drive and wants to initialize it, so we'll hit OK. And the storage drive is this big black bar here. We'll click on it, right click, click New Simple Volume, and hit Next, and hit Next. You can assign any drive letter that you want. I'll just pick D. And this is just, uh, well, if it's just a storage drive, just click Next. It'll perform a nice quick format. And then you'll be ready to go. And then further to this, I'll open up File Manager. Click on this PC, just to doubly make sure that it's there. So we have a new Volume D. 
and then I'll um, right click on well I'll navigate to all the uh, most widely used folders such as downloads, documents, pictures, uh, music, and videos. Uh, start with downloads, right click, hit properties, click on location, click on move, and I'll navigate towards new volume D, click on new folder, type downloads, and select folder, apply, yes, and now everything will be Everything that I download will be automatically moved to the storage drive instead of the uh, MSATA SSD boot drive. And I'll do that to documents and everything else later, but further to this, I'll also hit the Windows key and hit type default. Navigate towards default save locations. And I'll just select from the drop down menu. New apps will save to new volume D, new documents, and so on. And click apply. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, and now I'll uh, download Steam World Charleston Games. Okay, so we have Steam downloaded and installed. And just like in my other uh, test run video, I have uh, King Rabbit and Hyper Light Drifter downloaded just to demonstrate some. Uh, simple but really good games. So let's give this a quick test run. It's pretty quick load up time. Oops. All right, so now I'll try some Hyper Light Drifter. This game is kind of hard to play with the trackpad, but just demonstrating. It's a lot better with the mouse or a controller. But anyway, you get the idea. So if you're curious about uh, what other games this can play, you can go to a website like pcgamebenchmark.com and uh, enter in the details, all the PC specs, and you'll be able to see, or get a snapshot of what you can play. Of course, we have Among Us here, we have uh, Fortnite, 
Minecraft, Counter Strike. I would guess that things like games like Counter Strike and uh, Fortnite and even Minecraft now, uh, you have to run them at lowest settings. I'd be curious to try, but I don't feel like downloading those at the moment. So we'll just do a quick uh, YouTube test and Netflix just to see how the video streaming is. Hey, this is just a quick follow-up video. Some people have always asked me how good are these real So it was the first run of the so tiny. Hey. Then just let that one set in the, in the shade, in the woods, and they don't travel so far. They get caught here. Did you know Kellogg's has many cereals that are high in fiber, so you can fill up and go? He's got a pretty fast, uh, snappy response time. Pretty nice. Man, hell, there's no bell, man. Okay. 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 I love you. To say it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> Excuse me. Absolutely necessary. Yes, that train has left the station, if you know what I mean. <laughs> cool. So I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, runs really well, you can play some good games on this, um, yeah, it's a really nice laptop, so that's how you update it, and as always, I hope you learned something, and have a nice day, thanks for watching. Alright, one last thing I think I'll demonstrate is, uh, speed of the USB 3.0 port, so I'll stick my SD card in from my uh, digital camera and we'll plug in this uh, external hard drive which is also USB 3.0 into a USB 3.0 slot and we'll just see what the uh, transfer speeds are like. All right, so transferring over uh, just under eight gigabytes worth of data over USB 3.0 took about five minutes, just a touch over five minutes, and that's pretty fast. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll end the video now, and thanks again for watching.